All right, hello everyone. Gary Ryan here again with the Fed League Flash with your news of the day video, uh, as the hockey guy would put it. Uh, just real brief, uh, we had a few transactions come through, and one that I found was uh, very surprising. Uh, okay, starting off, Delaware has signed a defenseman Vito Cargo. I thought it was first Cargo Vito. No, it's Vito, first name Cargo. Uh, he played at Franklin Pierce, so Delaware is going to give him a look-see, give him his first uh, trial in pro hockey. Uh, likewise, Binghamton signed forward Brendan Stanko. Uh, he was a teammate of Connor Smith, who was signed earlier this week. Uh, they both played at Adrian College. Um I'm a little confused because I thought there was a limit as far as there being three collegians that you could uh, put on the roster, but I could be wrong. Um, Sarge, if you're listening, uh, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what's up with that. All right. Uh, Port Huron has signed defensiveman Stephen Jacobs. He was a teammate of Vito Carlo uh, at Franklin Pierce. So he's going to be playing on the blue line for the Prowlers. Um, Carolina made a couple of moves. They signed uh, defensive Cameron Ison, who has been playing in the uh, Greater Metro Hockey League. That's Junior A in the Toronto area, uh, playing with the St. George's Ravens. And uh, the other piece of information I got my clarification on if uh, Mario Cavalier would be available. He is not. So Kelly Curl has been signed as an e-bug. Always nice when you know, your owner is also a goalie. So tonight uh, Boris Babic will be dressing and starting and then Kelly Curl will serve as the backup on Saturday and Sunday. Um, Greg Hussey will be freed up from his one-game suspension. And so he and Babic, I would assume, would probably split duties. Uh, so, yeah, no Cavalier tonight and probably not this weekend. Um, so uh, hopefully um, Mario won't be out too long. Uh, he's obviously one of the better goal goalies in the Fed. Uh, so, uh, you know, it... it that, that that really hurts Carolina's depth uh, without uh, him in the net. So we will see how they make out this weekend. And uh, the surprising news, Tyler Pekarski, defenseman from Elmira. He started the year in Binghamton, got traded to Elmira, and has played most of the year, played very well, as a matter of fact. He announced his retirement today. Um, so, yeah, could be... Things going on personally that we're not aware of. Uh, in two years in the FPHL, Tyler had three goals, 16 assists, and that was in 73 games played. So Pekarski uh, has, again, announced his retirement. So that's a bit of a loss for Elmira, um, who obviously, you know, they – they would really like to have all the defensive depth that they can have. Of course, they do have Eric Oganezov, who's going to be inserted in the lineup. And uh, last I heard from Jake Johnson, who is the uh, media guy at Elmira, uh, Nathan Campbell should be ready for this weekend. So uh, I guess he was practicing with the team. So, uh, Hopefully, Elmira gets a couple uh, of their D-men back and in action. All right, so that is it. That concludes this episode of the Fed League Flash. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Comment down below, um, especially if you know what's going on as far as uh, any kind of restrictions or regulations as far as how many collegians you can sign uh, kind of as a, you know, on a tryout type of uh, contract. Let me know. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Gary Ryan. We will talk to you again tomorrow.